I was reminded today, personally, about one of the most difficult things of dealing with a startup, dealing with business, dealing with professional life is don't take it personally. There are so many decisions that revolve around other things that are beyond you. Even if you're in a tiny startup, even if you're a co-founder, like I think that can be the hardest thing for startup founders to deal with is to recognize that while they are, you know, obsessed with the success of their company and really wanting everything to happen positively and collaboratively that people are always dealing with other things and uh, (laughs) they're always extenuating circumstances so while you may be impacted by things that the business has to do, or that your co-founder has to do, or that a coworker has to do. Try as best you can not to take it personally, because rest assured, on the other side of that conversation, there's somebody else who's dealing with something very personal as well. And I think that's the most important part while your immediate reaction may be, oh, this is something against me or something I've done or something I've done incorrectly or I could have done this better. Also realize that there's someone else talking to you. Again, could be your co-founder that you're going through this with. Somebody else who is put in a very uncomfortable position of personally having to say something to someone else that is challenging. And I think that's the reason, I mean, that's the smartest thing about creating businesses and corporate structures and those kind of things and and creating agreements and contracts and investing schedules when you're on good terms is so that at those points that it becomes uncomfortable, that it becomes awkward, that it feels personal, that you have the ability to deliver what can often be something very, very difficult to someone else in an organization. And I know it's easy to say, don't take it personally, but I want to encourage you, whether you're a founder or a co-founder, whether you're getting this feedback from an investor or an employee, please try your best not to take it personally and realize that the business exists independently of you. And decisions need to be made independently of people to ensure that the business is moving in the right direction. And that can be really, really hard. And it's something that I've been through innumerable times. And each time it gets a bit easier, but it's still that initial reaction is to is to really take it personally and and to internalize that feedback but i think the most important thing you can learn as a founder as a co-founder dealing with investors dealing with employees is to please do not take it personally <laughs>